Hi. Today's story is called a tool, an avocado, and a big wheel dino. It's the name of the story, and it's the name of a song that we'll sing at the end of the story. Goes like this: a tool, an avocado, and a big big wheel dino. That's all I want for me. So you'll hear the song at the end. I just want you to know it's the name of the song and it's the story. It's about a boy. Now he, he had a very long name. He had seven parts to his name. So we're going to have to practice it for a minute here so you can understand it. So I'll say it to you, then I'll show it to you in writing. I have it, I have it in writing here, okay? His name was Braden Nolan Bradley Boston Bruno Stefan Bickard. Okay, he had a very long name. Braden Nolan Bradley Boston Bruno Stepan Bickard. That was his name. But his parents just called him Jethro for short. So that's his name if you wrote it. It's got like, oh my God, so much writing. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Braden Nolan Bradley Boston Bruno Stepan Bickard. He had a lot of middle names. So you understand that. Okay. Well, we'll call him Jethro. Jethro wanted to learn about things. He wanted to help his dad in the yard, and they were making a, a garden, and they were making a bookshelf, and he was wanted to work with tools. So he was always wishing he could have a tool, and he always wanted to grow things. And he loved avocados. So Jethro thought, I would like to learn how to grow an avocado and use tools. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay? Right here, we have everything you need a tool, an avocado, toothpicks, and water to grow an avocado tree. Oh yeah, I'm gonna show you how to grow an avocado tree. You can do this at home. It'll start growing in your house. It'll grow roots down into the water, and then it'll, it'll grow a shoot up out of the top that'll reach right up to the sky. It takes a long time, but um, you can watch it grow day by day, slowly, and grow your own. All you need is a tool, like a knife. Mom and dad have to help you with that. And you need an avocado. And you need the toothpicks and you need some water okay let's see how to do it and then we'll tell the story of how the little boy did it so the way you do it is mom and dad help you with the knife and you cut the avocado they'll help you because you can't cut by yourself because it's a knife i'm using my one of my favorite knives this is an old timer is the name of the brand made by shrod and it's a limited edition, special one. They only made a few of these. They're, they're really, really cool. You cut the avocado. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to eat it for lunch, some of it. And then you see the pit. You take the pit out. I'm going to clean up the pit a little bit by eating it a little bit. And then... And then you've got to get the toothpicks into the pit. So I'm going to stop the video because that takes a little doing and mom and dad have to help to get the toothpicks into the pit. But then I'll turn the video back on and we'll put it in the water and you'll see how to put it in the water and then you put it aside and let it grow for days and days and days and days and days and days. And days. As many days as the name. It's so big, okay? And it'll grow a real avocado tree. Okay, I'm gonna stop the video. Okay. So I made the toothpicks go into the avocado pit and they're sticking kind of slightly up. And now they'll go
And now they'll go into my glass of water. And you have to have the water so that it's part way up on the pit. So part of the pit is sticking in the water and part of the pit is sticking out. And you want the pointy part of the pit to stick up and the round part of the pit, the flatter part, to stick down. That's it. And you grow an avocado tree. You have to wait. It's kind of like wishes. You make a wish that it will grow, and then you wait, and you wait, and you wait to see when your wish comes true. Sometimes your wish comes true a long time later. And sometimes your wish is different than you expect. It comes out different, but it always comes true. So you make your wish, and it'll come true. And then you wait. Now you gotta keep watering it. You don't just leave it like that for days and days and days because the water will evaporate and it'll go down and down, evaporate. Oh, that means it'll dry up. And so you keep putting water back in enough so that it's halfway up the pit. And then you put it maybe on, on a uh, the windowsill where it'll get some sunlight. Okay? And there's how to make an avocado tree. All right. I'll pause, and then we'll tell the story about Jethro. You, you know his real name. Braden Nolan Bradley Boston Bruno Stepan Bickard. But we're going to call him Jethro in the story because it's pretty hard to say that name. It was a very, very long name. But he's a very important boy. So we're going to tell the story about Jethro who wanted a tool, an avocado, and a big wheel dino. That's all he wanted. See you in a minute. Hi, I'm back. I had to go get lunch. Chicken marsala and spaghetti. And animated. It is unbelievable. Well, Jethro loved to help his dad and his mom. He would get up in the morning and say, can I work with one of the tools? And then if he was working with mom, she'd say, sure, use this tool. Or if he was working with dad, he'd say, sure, use this tool. And then Jethro would take the tool and he would do whatever his mom or dad was doing. Sometimes they were making a garden, Sometimes they were making shelves, sometimes they were cooking, sometimes they were making artwork, whatever they were doing. And he would love to work with tools. He also loved to eat avocados. Um, mm, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. He loved avocados. I'm going to have a piece right now. Oh mm, my gosh. Oh, it's delicious. And he would always look at avocados as food but of course they're trees also they grow so that's why i taught you how to grow one and jethro kind of had a wish it was getting near to christmas time and so he was kind of wishing for a few things he wished to have his own tool just like mom and dad's like a big person tool. So he would sing a song about wishing for it, and he wished to have an av avocado. And he had another wish, but he didn't want to be wishing for too many things because it's not good to, to say, oh, mom and dad, I want this and this and this and this and this and that, too many things. So he would wish for one more thing, but he would kind of wish it to himself and sing a little song. And mom and dad would hear him singing this song when he was walking around by himself outside. It went like this. A tool, an avocado, and a big wheel dino. That's all I want for me. A tool, an avocado, and a big wheel dino under the Christmas tree. 
And his dad would say, oh, you don't want much. And he'd say, just a little bitty bit. Oh, you don't want much. Just a little bitty bit. You don't want much. Just a little bitty bit. So what do you think you're going to get? What he thought he might get was a tool, an avocado, and maybe even a big wheel dyno. Well, it was getting close to Christmas. So mom and dad said, okay, Jethro, you know what his real name was. Braden Nolan, Brad Boston, Bruno, Stepan, Bickard. But they wouldn't say that to him because if they, they always said that to him, they'd have to say, um, come in for lunch, Braden Nolan, Bradley, Boston, Bruno, Stepan, Pickard. Get your pajamas on, Braden Nolan, Bradley, Boston, Bruno, Stepan, Pickard. Eat all your food, Braden Nolan, ba Bradley, Boston, Bruno, Stepan, Pickard. It was too hard. So they just called him Jethro. So they would say, well, you know, Jethro, it's getting close to Christmas. We're going to go out shopping. We're going to go get some presents. I'm not telling you what we're getting, because it's Christmas. You don't tell each other what you're getting. It's a surprise. And so they went in to town to get some presents for Christmas, did a little shopping. And while they were shopping, Jethro was allowed to stay right by the window and wait for them. And when he did, guess what happened? It started to snow, and he's looking out the window, and there were three trees. And he said, my, that, that one tree looks like an avocado tree. It was kind of growing like one in, in, the, in the backyard. And he said, that kind of looks like Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed's a guy who went all over the country and planted apple seeds for apple trees. And he said, I wonder if Johnny Appleseed could ever come and visit me and help my avocado seed. I would love to have an avocado tree. And he's looking at the tree and said, that reminds me of Johnny Appleseed. And the second tree looked kind of like Daniel Boone. Now, I don't know if you know Daniel Boone. Now, he was a very good hunter and hiker. He hiked all over the woods. And when Daniel Boone hiked, he would always have a hiking stick. And if you come to Grandpa's house, I'll take you on a hike with a hiking stick. So, while mom and dad were shopping in the town, Death was looking out the window. He said, that looks like Daniel Boone, that second tree. And then he looked at the next tree. The next tree was so big, it reached up higher than he could see in the sky. It even touched some of the clouds. And he said, oh my God, that looks like you know who? Who's the biggest guy we know? Paul Bunyan. And he said, wow, that tree makes the other two trees look very small because it's so big. And that got him thinking, I wonder what would happen if Paul Bunyan ever came here. Well, I don't know if he was starting to fall asleep or he was dreaming or he was just thinking up a story, but all of a sudden, he thought he heard knocking at the door. He said, who is it? And at the door, he heard a big, 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 big voice that said, Paul Bunyan's my name. Oh my God, you mean he came here? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, Paul Bunyan's at my house? Yeah, it was Paul Bunyan. He came to the front door. And I don't know if Jethro was having a dream, or he was sleeping, 
or really happened. I don't know. But in, 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 in all he thought was, Paul Bunyan's at my door. So he went to the door and he opened it up. And there was a man standing so tall, he could hardly even see his head. It was way up, and I think his hair was touching the clouds. Well, Jethro was very excited. He always had heard about Paul Bunyan, but he had never met him. And he said, I can't believe you came to my house. Hi, how you doing? Hi. And Paul said, hello. I heard... There's a young man making wishes for Christmas. And I heard one of his wishes was for a big wheel dino. Well, you know, I have Babe the Blue Ox, and she helps me a lot, and she's kind of like a dinosaur, she's so big. I just happened to have a big wheel dino with me. And he reached in his pocket, took it out, and gave it to Jethro. Now, when he put his hand down all the way, oh, my goodness, his hand was so big, the big wheel dino looked like a little tiny thing in his hand. It looked like a little tiny car. But, of course, it was pretty big. Big wheels, you know, can get big. And a dino big wheel is a pretty big, big wheel. But in Paul Bunyan's hand, he just put his hand out like this. Oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. And it was very big. So... Jethro reached into his hand, took it out. He said, oh, thank you so much. This will be my first Christmas present. Thank you. I'm so happy. Would you like to come in and sit down? And Paul said, well, I don't think I can. I don't think I'll fit into your house. I can't get through the door. And your ceilings are too low. But maybe I'll just stick the toe of my boot inside your front door. And then it'll warm up my foot because it is kind of cold out here. It's snowing, you know. And, and so Jethro said, sure, my, be my guest. And Paul stuck his boot in, and it reached all the way from the front door all the way to the fireplace. Oh, my goodness, oh, my goodness. Well, of course, he has big feet, because it's Paul Bunyan. And then he told Jethro a story, and then Jethro told him a story, and they laughed and visited. And then Paul said, whoa, I think my foot, foot's getting a little too hot next to that fire. I better pull it out. And he pulled out his boot, and it almost moved the house and knocked it down. He said, oh, I'll hold on to the house. Don't worry. And he grabbed the chimney, and he grabbed the house, and he stayed it, and it was fine. And Jethro said, you know, I was hoping you'd come because that tree looked like you, and that other tree looked like Daniel Boone, and I was thinking about him and maybe taking a hike, and that other tree looked like Johnny Appleseed, and I'm trying to plant a seed, an avocado. I want an avocado for Christmas, and if my parents give it to me, I'm going to cut it open and take out the seed, just like Johnny Appleseed would, and I'm going to plant it and see if I can get it to grow in water, and then when the roots come out the bottom and the tree trunk comes out the top, I'll take it out of the water and I'll plant it in the ground. Well, that was just a great idea, and Paul Bunyan said, oh, that's wonderful, but i got to go now. You have a Merry Christmas. But Jethro fell asleep. And when he woke up, his parents were already home. And they had been shopping for Christmas. And there were three presents under the tree. One of them was kind of little and round. And one of them kind of long. And one of them was kind of fat. So Jeff didn't know what to do first. So he opened the little round one. And it had a green wrapping paper package. And when he opened it up, here's what he saw. An 
avocado of his very own. And he opened up the second package that was a little bit long, and it was a tulip. And his dad and mom helped him cut open the avocado, and they planted it, just like you and I did. And then the third package was kind of fat. And he shook it, and it didn't sound like anything, but it was kind of heavy. And he opened it up, and it was a big wheel dino. It had really big wheels, and it had a front that looked like a dinosaur. And it was red and yellow and blue. Well, Jeffro was just very, very happy. And he gave Mom and Dad a great big kiss and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. And they had a very nice Christmas. And then they sang a song one more time. What did you want for Christmas? We knew because we heard you singing. And Jethro said, yep, I was singing a tool an avocado and a big wheel dino. That's all I want for me. A tool, an avocado and a big wheel dino under the Christmas tree. That's the end of the story. So I hope you get what you wish. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.